gather round, shadow hunters, as we venture into the perplexing tale of Rebecca Zahal. Born into the mysteries of March 15, 1979, in the distant land of Burma, her life's journey took her across continents before settling her in the heart of the United States, a decade before her untimely demise. It was the year 2008 that Zahao's path intertwined with Jonah Shacknai, the illustrious CEO of Medicis Pharmaceutical. Though still tethered to another in matrimony, she found herself drawn to Shacknai's orbit, a realm of opulence and shadow. His wealth earned as the ninth highest paid CEO in Arizona cast a seductive allure, yet his past bore the scars of two failed unions. The memory of Maxfield Aaron Max Shacknai, his son from a prior marriage, lingered like a ghost in their shared narrative. But fate, it seemed, had darker designs in store. On that fateful day of July 11, 2011, tragedy struck the Shacknai estate. Young Max, innocent as the dawn, met his end in a fall that defied reason, a fall that sparked whispers of foul play, whispers carried on the wind like echoes of a forgotten lament. Days passed like shadows across the sands of time until the dawn of July 13th unveiled yet another grim tableau. There, amidst the silence of dawn, Zahao's form hung, a macrobe masterpiece wrought in the throes of despair. Bound wrist and ankles spoke of a struggle, a struggle against unseen forces that now consigned her to the realm of the departed. Yet as the authorities sought answers amidst the tangled web of evidence, Doubts began to emerge like cracks in the facade of certainty. Autopsy reports spoke of head traumas, whispers of manual strangulation, a narrative at odds with the official verdict of suicide. Family and friends, their hearts heavy with grief, dared to challenge the verdict, seeking solace in the pursuit of justice. As the tale unfolded, the media's gaze turned unyielding, casting light on every shadow, every whisper of doubt. Allegations flew like arrows, accusations hurled like stones in the tempest of speculation that threatened to consume all in its wake. But amidst the chaos, a flicker of hope emerged, a glimmer of truth, perhaps beckoning from the shadows. For in the halls of justice, where truth is the ultimate arbiter, the echoes of the past may yet find its voice, and the mysteries of Rebecca Zahal may find their resolution. So grab your glass of champagne, make sure your doors are locked, and tune in, Shadow Hunters. Hit that like and subscribe so you'll be notified when we step into the Noir Syndicate to unravel this twisted tale that we call Rebecca Zahal, Fate or Fury. Welcome to Inky Noir Champagne Mysteries.